three, two, one. This is Candy Candor Live, real talk, no bells and whistles. Hey Candies, thanks for joining us today on Candy Candor Live. Today's topic is a sensitive one and a very serious one. So please be aware that some of the content, uh, while it may not be overly disturbing, it may be very personal for some of you. Let's get into it. Doxing and swatting happen every single day. It happens to hundreds and hundreds of people. It doesn't just affect the target. It affects their family. It affects their friends. It affects everybody around them. Everybody with extremely detrimental effect. A few weeks ago, a very good friend of mine who happens to be a, a professional woman, she has a career, she works very hard, she got doxxed. Disgruntled employees, rabble rousers, haters, decided to take it upon themselves to release her personally identifying information to the public via social media. They also decided to take it upon themselves to twist the facts to suit their own purpose while conveniently leaving out the actual truth. Doxing is the release of personally identifying information which is private. This may or may not lead to swatting, which is very dangerous when the individuals decide to call law enforcement and make false reports of crimes. Now, these aren't just any crimes. Oh no, these are serious crimes. They just call law enforcement and report that this individual has perpetrated these crimes, which leads, of course, to the manipulation of law enforcement taking them away from actual real crimes because then they swarm the house or the workplace of the individual who has been spotted, the target, which can lead to a very, very dangerous situation for everybody involved. And I'm not just talking about the target. Just this past week, somebody I personally look up to, somebody who has been strong, very, very inspirational, very positive person. And she's here on TikTok. Somebody who thought somebody who was jealous that they would take matters into their own hands in a very terrorizing, abusive, and just egregiously harmful manner. She had made a video about it, and I asked for her permission to play it in my video. I asked her if she wanted me to blur out sensitive information. She said no. She wasn't going to let him have that kind of power over her. <laughs> you kidding me? Here is her video. Bless you, spooky chick. You're such an inspiration to everybody, and I'm so sorry this happened to you. I gotta make this a friends only post because I don't know who's watching my page at this point. Last night during a live stream, I got doxxed. They revealed my physical address and also proceeded to antagonize me and call my landline six times within an hour. This person quite literally made four fucking accounts that are false. Top one, Christine's sister. Now, I know there are going to be people out there who are going to say, well, you like anonymous. Well, okay, but one, they never, ever, ever target children. Two, they don't target people just because they're butthurt. If Joe Blow were to post a video and say, anonymous is crap. They're not going to immediately dox that individual and then plunk his personally identifying information on the internet for the world to see. 
The January 6th hearings highlighted doxing. Be glad it's 2020 and not 1920. My email, my cell phone was doxed, and so I was getting texts all over the country. He said, had his name, you committed treason, may God have mercy on your soul, with a slowly twisting gif of a noose. Saying things like wishing death upon me, telling me that I'm, I'll be in jail with my mother. Now I won't even introduce myself by my name anymore. I get nervous when I bump into someone I know in the grocery store who says my name. And eventually my wife started getting the uh, text and hers typically came in as sexualized uh, texts which were discussed. I no longer give out my business card. I don't transfer calls. Don't want anyone knowing my name. Some people broke into my daughter-in-law's uh, home. My son has passed and she's a widow and uh, she has two kids. And so we're very concerned about her safety also. I don't go to the grocery store at all. I haven't been anywhere at all. I've gained about 60 pounds. We had a daughter who was gravely ill, who was upset by what was happening outside. And then there's this young lady, doxxed during a live. Not only was she doxxed during the live, people showed up at her house during the live. She has kids. Doxing can be a crime. You need to contact your local law enforcement to see what they can do about it. If people think that they're anonymous on the internet, they're sadly mistaken. I started a petition on change.org. You can find the link in my bio. Give it a read. Sign it if you like. And if you do sign it, please, please, please share it and get it out there. I know that we're being inundated with all kinds of monkey muck today, but doxing and swatting puts people's lives at risk. People like you, people like me, our friends, our neighbors, our family, our children. Pretty much everybody, especially here in the United States, is ticked off about something that's going on and has pent-up aggression, anger, frustration. Reach out for help. Talk to somebody. But for the love of the humanity that each of us holds dear, don't dox. Don't SWAT. You could be located. You could be prosecuted. That'll end up putting you behind bars and you won't be able to post anything anyway. Thank you for listening. This is Candid Candor signing off. Please sign the petition. Please share this out. Stop the docs. Peace.